favourites in my field, Marshall and Rock and Roll Lincoln. So it's a great level of racing and the barrier draws are so important. But let's hope we can get delivered uh, yet another great chapter in the rich history of this race where, you know, mega stars like your uh, Pro Chevaliers and, and uh, Village Kids and those sorts of horses have come through this great race, Gareth. Yeah, can't wait for it. And as you point out, Gary Hall Senior's owned this race. He's won it for the last 10 years with On the Mighty Quinn, My Hard Copy. Great horses, um, some of the great horses ever to grace this wonderful track here at Gloucester Park. But they nearly said, Adam, it's a wonderful sight at Gloucester Park when there's a big crowd and these superstar standard breads. As Johnny Hunt used to like to say, these gladiators are about to go to war around this wonderful Coliseum. We might head upstairs now and catch up with Richard Bell for the call of the Group 1 WA Pacing Cup. And some great horses over the years. Pure Steel, four-time winner. I'm the Mighty Quinn, my hard copy. Who could forget his last traverse victory? Just about set. Tab Touch, WA Pacing Cup. And they're racing. Now, my field marshal restrained at the start. Max Affair headed by Rock and Roll Lincoln, who's going to storm to the front. So Rock and Roll Lincoln, Gary Hall Jr., exactly where he wanted to be. Max Affair's on its back. My field marshal for the moment is holding the breeze, but going forward is Galactic Star, and he'll get cover as well because Vampiro Brown is on the move. So Galactic Star will end up one out and one back, beautifully positioned, and my field marshal will be right on his He's back. He's one out and two back. Then El Jacko, who's on the inside. Saying Grace is in the moving line, just a little worse than midfield. Run, run, Jimmy Dunn. Then the heavily back Volton Tin. He's back fourth last at the moment for the man with the pink cart, Chris of Evoke. Down on the inside is Shannon Savalco with I'm full of excuses. Back second last is our Max Factor. And old Jimmy Johnson. He's at the back of the field. He'd be about 35 metres off the leader. Down the back. And it's easy work at the moment for Rock and Roll Lincoln. He leads ahead. On the outside, running second is Vampiro and the old master Colin Brown. Max Affair and Cub Reed behind the leader. Galactic star. He could not have had a better run here for Ryan Warwick. And then my field marshal right on his back. Over on the inside is El Jacko. Three back. Then Saying Grace is on the outside. One out and three back at the moment. Down on the inside is Run Run Jimmy Dunn. And then Volt and Tin. Maybe the pace not quite quick enough for him at the moment. He's fourth last. He's over on the outside of Ohm full of excuses. Back second last is our Max Factor and our Jimmy Johnson is at the back of the field. They don't look to be going hard. The lead time goes through in 137.9 and Rock and Roll Lincoln in the Prentice colours. He leads ahead. On the outside is Vampiro. Max Affairs running third. In fourth place is Galactic Star. Still 1-1. My field marshal following his every move. He's 1-2. Down on the inside is El Jacko. Three back on the pegs and then came Run Run Jimmy Dunn. Cover by saying grace volt and tin and voke fourth last on the outside back third last is i'm full of excuses our max factor and our jimmy johnson so they work past the stadium they go in between the two turns first quarter in 29.4 and the leader is rock and roll lincoln leads by a nose vampiro's on the outside max affair behind the leader galactic star he's won one my field marshal right on his back one two he has to go with volt and tin though again Going too slowly, and he's about to peel out with my field marshal now. But Galactic Star goes first. Field marshal gets his back, filling the vacated spot. Is saying Grace drives right up into the 1 1. Max Affairs down on the inside as they leave the straight. Second quarter, 29.4. Rock and Roll Lincoln goes for a sprint haul. He's about to go for home. Vampiro's under pressure. On the inside is Max Affair letting go now. Galactic Star, my field marshal, he's about to pull four wide. But the leader's going strongly, saying Grace is diving up in the middle. And then El Jacko coming off the back. Can Hall Jr. do it again? Rock and Roll Lincoln's got the lead by two and a half metres to Vampiro Max Affair. My field marshal, he's winding up now. Galactic Star couldn't go on. Saying Grace trying to find some room in the straight, though. Rock and Roll Lincoln, he is clear. He's out six metres. I think he's home. Max Affair, here's my field marshal, El Jacko. Rock and Roll. Lincoln, he's stopping, El Jacko flies, but in front, Rock and Roll Lincoln, he has won the pacing.
Link up, Rock and Roll Lincoln and Gary Hall Jr. and Justin Prentice. El Jacko second, Max Affair third. My field marshal ran fourth, and they were followed by Run Run Jimmy Dunn, a uh, Jimmy Johnson, and then came Vampiro who ran a cheeky race. Further back is El saying Grace, and they were followed on the outside by I'm Full of Excuses. Volden 10 was a long way back. Galactic Star struggled from the home turn with our Max Factor and Rock and Roll Lincoln has won the pacing cup here and a brilliant a brilliant drive brilliant drive um there was no pressure early we thought there might be then he was able to get away with some lovely splits the pressure wasn't over over too much in the uh, in the middle stages and on the home bend you thought he was going to win easily but uh he gets home really really uh, strongly rock and roll lincoln over el jacko who flew late max affair had the uh, the lovely run in behind them and my field marshal nothing wrong with his run at all he just needed Needed Galactic started to bring him into the race more when it developed into a sprint home. Galactic Star wasn't able to do that. He was disappointing tonight, Galactic Star. And uh, my field marshal had to come four wide a lot earlier than he would want to have. But uh, Gareth Hall will be getting down to uh, winning driver Gary Hall Jr. soon. And um, Gareth, they're not too far away at Mandurah, but um, we might just get down to you really quickly. Uh, what about one person dominating a race over a decade like uh, this man, Gary Hall Jr.? Yeah, he's one of the very best, big time driver. He got Rock and Roll Lincoln out, but all credit to Justin Pratt. He is a young gun going places. He's built up a team by himself. He's attracted new owners to the game. And now, in the early part of his 30s, has taken out a WA Pacing Cup.